Good morning from another scorcher here in old Siam. Yes, indeed, it is day three here in Bangkok and I'm keen to get away from Koh San Road to see a little bit more of the real city. So, with that in mind, as a meander, I say, good morning, sir. Wow, he had long hair. I thought we'd head down to Sathorn Pier and get my first ferry across the Chao Phraya, the river, to check out Chinatown and hopefully find some more of this country's incredible street food. And then a little bit later on, I think we're going to take a route, a different route back. Might hop on the metro as well, get some AC. And then yeah, all being well, I'll be back for 3pm where I can get on and do another Mai Tai class with the big man. Because I must say, I've got some making up to do after the big night out that we had together. I didn't make training yesterday, so I'm going to go and repent for my sins. Anyways, without further ado, I think that might well be our grab there. Is that our man? He is calling. Okay, let's jump in our grab and make it down to Sathon Pier. All right, we have arrived in a very fancy part of town. I was not expecting it to be around here. Right next to the Shangri-La, no less. Obviously a little too rich for my money at the moment, but it's like a home from home returning to the Shangri-La in Colombo. I had to use that place for uploading every couple of days. Try and get a Wi-Fi connection. Anyways, I did not come here to Bangkok to be discussing broadband speeds and internet service providers. No, 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 no. We came to ride the ferry. Okay, are you ready for me to make a fool of myself, ladies? I would like to go to Rajan Wangze. Rajan Wangze. Yes, I got it right. Yeah. 10 out of 10. You are here. Okay. One, two, three, stop. Rajan Wangze. Oh, here. super. Ticket to Divar for one. Okay, I pay you? I pay you. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Just one person, please. Unless you want to come with me. <laughs> I'm sure you have better things to do. 30 baht, okay. Let me just grab some change. As I have a little room. Oh, I might have correct change. Is that... Is that 20 or 10? I mean, 10. 10, 10 and 5. Oh no, okay. I thought I was in luck. Let me get, uh, let me get a note out and we'll get our ticket. Okay. Thank okay. you, my dear. Thank you so much. Wow, this is so easy. Come in, get your 30 baht out. And then yeah, have a personal service. Hello, my dear. So why did crop? All right, here we go. It's a shame that I wasn't able to uh, get outside. I thought there might be like a roof, but I suppose the benefit is that you're in the shade and you're in air conditioning, which is such a relief. It's only, it's barely 11 o'clock in the morning and it's already absolutely scorching. So I think the ride is probably only going to be a couple of minutes. It's, uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty much over before I began, as she said. Wow, this is incredible. I seem to think I've just got off at the wrong stop. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I think I got carried away in all my exuberance and I got off too early. I think it might well be another couple of stops down there. All right guys, so apparently the next ferry isn't for another 20 minutes, but the lady as you saw was really, really helpful. She was straight on the walkie talkie. She didn't charge me again. Unlike the customer service that you might otherwise have had in the UK or many other countries that I've been to so far, the Thai people are so kind, she was so friendly, smiling, and yeah, even though it was only 30 baht to begin with, there was never a question of charging me again or anything like that, even though it was my mistake. So, really good experience. I'm now gonna sit right opposite the place that I, uh, yeah, haunted me in the sun. Oh, we're ready now, are we? Okay, thank you. All right, and oh, watch that trip hazard. Make our way out into the baking sun for the next boat. Okay, we good here? All right. I don't know. <laughs> I think, uh, okay, from here. Oh, amazing, okay. So now apparently I get to stand in the sun rather than sitting in the shade. Okay, well, all right, brother. This is, uh, this is a nice spot. I can't go around there either, I got to stay here. Okay, I stand here in the sun. Can I sit in the shade? All right, okay, all right. Let's take a seat for a few minutes and then yeah, we'll be ready to go in a minute after I've avoided third degree burns. Back to you in a minute. <sighs> What's that look at what could have been? All right. 
right, take two. <laughs> this is the boat, right? <laughs> I've lost count of how many ones I've been trying to get, but yeah. yeah. This is the one. So it's one more stop. Okay, one more stop to Chinatown. I got off way too early at Icon Siam. I was caught up by the glitz and the glamour. Anyways, here it is. We're back on the same boat. It's the same lady. I remember her. Okay, thank you, my dear. Thank you so much. All right. Oh, what an idiot. Okay, when you're going to Chinatown, don't get off at Icon Siam. Top tip. All right, I'll check in with you when we get off at the correct stop, which is the next one. So I really cannot mess this up anymore. Goodbye, Icon Siam. It was really impressive to see your luxury boutiques, but we are going to Chinatown. Let's go. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. All right. We have made it. Rachawan Pier. Let's see if we can get ourselves an honest rickshaw driver. My first experience in Thailand of the tuk tuk. Hey guys, I want to go to Chinatown. Is it Wong Wian? Wong Is this the one? We can go. The meter? How much? No meter. How much do you think? 300? Yeah. Can you do 200? We do two? Okay, I think that's fair. It's like uh, five bucks, I think. Okay, thank you, my friend. What is your name? Oh. Okay, nice to meet you. All right, the Thai people are super friendly. And uh, yeah, I would say that perhaps the only demise is that they can be quite timid sometimes. So in terms of interactions, even just asking somebody's name, a stranger's name when you get in a rickshaw, you're not often greeted with a lot back. It's not that they're being impolite. I think that culturally, people are that little bit more reserved. Certainly more so than uh, the likes of India and Sri Lanka. All right, well, I gotta say, that wasn't so traumatic. Just try doing that outside Galay Station in, uh, in, where the hell was I? In Gala, yeah, in Sri Lanka. Anyways, let's figure out exactly where this place begins and try and find something to eat. So I'm very keen to try the street food around here. And I'm hoping that we'll be able to try something other than Pad Thai. Ooh, I need this, it is so hot. So hot, mama, <laughs> so hot. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Thank you. <laughs> All right, this is absolutely delicious. Oh. Just what the doctor ordered. Okay. Mm. Oh, that is so good. Thank you so much. It is lovely. It is actually quite sweet, even with minimal sugar, but oh man, that is so refreshing. Mm. Okay. The food looks really delicious as well here. The lady's got the chicken going and oh, I might have to come back for this, you know. Let's see what we can find in the market, but that was really delicious. Is that actually cooking now? I can hear it crackling. Is that actually it's hot? I don't know. <laughs> I haven't seen this before. <laughs> it's strange, it's new for me. I literally think that those coals were cooking on the heat of the pavement. It is that hot. That's unreal. I thought maybe they were drying it out or something. Aha! We appear to have found the central vegetable. Hello, central vegetable and fruit market I guess. This takes me right back to my first ever video that I made. You won't have seen it, <laughs> chances are, because only about 119 people did from memory. But back in Bucharest, where I visited, I forget the name of the market now, but they had a place selling michi, the barbecue sausages, like koftas that I queued up for, really delicious. But I remember taking a walk through a place just like this. And of course, I've seen many in my time now on my travels, but I remember that was the first one I walked through. And I thought, frankly, what do I do here? It's just got like fruits and vegetables and flowers. And I was looking for some food and then I found the Michi, which is incredible. Hey, my friend, how are you? So we can see the guys are mincing uh, pork or chicken, pork, lab, moo, <laughs> moo, <laughs> I think. I'm trying to remember my Thai words. Thank you, brother. I'm trying to remember my Thai words. I know that guy is chicken, so we have, I think that looks to be pork in there, so I think that is moo, which obviously makes you think of beef, cows, but it's not. And then, yeah, all the different kinds of butchery here, 
you can see the uh, the offal as well as the other things that frankly you probably don't want to watch. Hello dear, I've been giving you a tour of the offal and raw foods market. I think we need to spread our wings a little bit further to try and find something that's ready to eat. Ah, how are you? That was the last vlogger. <laughs> okay, alright. Take care, brother. Guys, if you're from Thailand and understand what this is, this board here, let me know. Everybody's in uniforms. Are they like parking attendants or some kind of like officials? Are they the market sellers? I don't know. Or is this some kind of hit list? I'm not sure. Ah, there's a guy there. Hello, sir. Let me, uh, let me see if I can understand what this is. I don't think he's necessarily going to uh, tell me, but I'm just seeing if there is anything on the uniform. There's not. It's not apparent. Is this uh, police? Market police? Yeah? Okay. <laughs> nice to meet you, my friend. Okay, I guess there is, uh, obviously, because I don't know any Thai whatsoever, I'm still struggling to say please and thank you. Yeah, we won't be able to figure out the mystery here, but uh, yeah, if any of you know what that was about, do let me know. Oh, wow. Hello, what are you selling? What is this? Carabao? Yeah, Carabao. 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 Yeah. It's vegetable? Yeah, yeah. It's vegetables? Carabao. Oh, can I just try one piece, please? Okay, thank you. Oh, man. It's all slimy. It doesn't smell of much. It's good. It's good. It's a little bit like maybe a water chestnut or something. Not quite as firm. My dear, as lovely as this is, <laughs> yeah. Carabao together. Yeah. Very good. Thank you, my dear. Okay. That was a bizarre encounter. I've never had Carabao before. Interesting. I don't know what it was. It was definitely some kind of vegetable, a little bit like a root. Not particularly sweet. Didn't have an awful lot of flavor. But frankly, given how it looks, that was no bad thing. Hello, my friend. Oh. Hello. Oh. Ah, what do we have? Uh, no English. So, <laughs> no uh, problem. Uh, so it looks like they have, uh, they're doing like pork or something here. I can see some of the balls through there. I don't know if they're pork or beef, but it reminds me of the, I think it's called bakso in Jakarta or in Indonesia that I saw. I think maybe wontons. I don't know that I want noodles because I want to try as many different things as I can. So let's just try some of the wontons in maybe like a soup. Hello, my friend. I have shrimp wonton, please. Shrimp wonton soup. One wonton soup. Yes. Yes, please. The wonton. Yes. One wonton soup, please. So you can see the bean sprouts, which are often an accompaniment when I've had pad thai here a couple of times on top to make it crunchy give you a bit of texture we've got some of the greens here as well like the cabbage cut down but this is the star of the show look at the wontons there that have been made up they're glistening slightly not from the water necessarily but from I believe if there is gelatine or something similar in the coating it's just making them glisten obviously all of this is really hot and fresh you can see him applying if I just come round here you can see the various seasonings. So you've got like roasted garlic, I think in oil. Presumably this is soy or possibly a bit of fish sauce mixed in. And then sugar, I think, for sweetness. First thing that I can see is there are loads of greens floating to the top. So I'm keen to try some of these before they sit around too long. Hmm. It's a classic combination of pork and seafood, which might sound strange, but once you've been in this part of the world, or indeed you've eaten this food back in the UK or wherever it may be, but you'll understand, it does go. Mm. Delicious. The prawns as well in those wontons, really yummy. So, let me get through this, and then we might call in, as I say, at the place that we saw first, for some of the meat there. She had like some really nice chicken steamed off, or I think it was basically pork, if not, next door, and she was putting it in the noodle broth. So yeah, we can try two for one. Thank you guys, it's delicious. Really good, I enjoyed. The name of your shop? The name? We? We? Ye we. Ye we. Okay. Okay, <laughs> see you later. Bye bye, take care. That broth was delicious but I want to sink my teeth into some flesh. 
sounding vampiric. Okay. I think just to the end of this alley, I can see the road where we arrived. So if we head just back over there, we'll be able to try some of that, uh, some of the food in that canteen that we saw. Hopefully nice and meaty. Mm -mm. All right, so we are back at the end of the road and just over there is where we got off and got our bubble tea. So with any luck, if my memory serves me correctly, there we go. There is the shop that we're going to head to, the little cafe next to Mama's Tea. Is this beef? Moo! <laughs> moo! Not actual moo, because I think that means pork. But this is beef. Please have one with noodles. So we look to be going with the seasonings and the different toppings as before. I think that is blood. Or some red sauce, that's incredible. So we've dipped the noodles into the broth. We've got some veggies as well going in there and just wilting as we saw earlier. And then the meat is going on there. I believe that is beef, even though it could possibly look a bit like duck. I'm going with beef. And then we've got another one of the, I think the pork balls. Or are they possibly taro? I'm not sure. Ah, oh, and there we go, all of the sauce. Wow, that looks so delicious. A bowl of spicy beef, I believe, noodles. With a couple of baksa on the side, I think. Yeah, they are. Okay, let's give this a go. I'm gonna try, I'll start with some of the meat to work out what it is. But the broth itself, I think had some blood. It certainly had some red sauce that went into it. So, this is definitely new to me. Let's give it a try. Mmm. Okay, it's definitely beef. It is so tender. And the flavor in that sauce, in the broth, is like nothing else that I've had before. Let me know guys, was it blood? I don't know. I think it's what I had on the noodles in Malaysia and they were absolutely delicious on pork noodles. Mm. As I say, it's perfectly balanced. Sweet, salty, spicy, all the rest, sour. Mm. And the most delicious beef on there. If ever you've had pulled beef or brisket, something like that, uh, that's how I describe it. I'd say it's similar to brisket. Mm. One more spoonful. And then you're going to have to lead me to it. Mm. Really glad that we stopped in for that. I've got a completely different flavour to the wontons that we just tried earlier. I've got this lovely beef flavour dancing still on my tongue. Anyways, I think now we should head well, out of the sun, stepping back into it, down towards the metro station, because not only do I want to head back in that direction in time for my afternoon Mai Tai class, but tomorrow we're going to be taking a sleeper train for 12 hours all the way up to Chiang Mai in the north. So I thought it'd be a good idea to go and see what the rail network's like, beginning with the metro system, before I confine myself to 12 hours on a Thai sleeper train. Thank you. Cup and crab. Thank you. All right. What a lovely lady. So we tap the token here. Okay. Thank you, sir. And then onto platform two. It's all very relaxed and orderly. I don't feel on edge here vlogging like I have in some cities on the metro system. You've still got the order of the queuing system that I've seen in Japan mainly. I just make sure that I'm not walking into a ladies only carriage. I don't know if they exist here in Bangkok. It might not be, yeah, there might not be reason for it as there is in other parts of the world. But wow, here we are. Oh man, the AC is like nothing else. Parting Ta Pra, probably mispronouncing that. And we're going just one stop on the blue line to Sathani Tapai, Sathani Isarapa. Next station, Isarapa. What she said. <laughs> All right, we made it to Sanam Chai. Short but sweet ride on the old MRT. But I tell you what, if the sleeper train that I'm going to be on tomorrow for 12, 13 hours nearly is anywhere near 
as good as that was for a subway system, then yeah, it should be pretty decent. I'm sure I've been on worse first class flights. Anyways, with my token in hand, let's make our way up to the exit. Are we up here? Okay. And yeah, time is getting on. As I mentioned, I've got my three o'clock class. Old Tamasak wants to see me for club. He wants to see me for boxing again at 3 p.m. So I'm not gonna wait around too much. I'm gonna head straight back now. Wow, just look how palatial this is. <laughs> Crazy, what a station. I'm gonna head back now to get changed and make my way down to the boxing. But it's been a good day today. We've had a little bit of everything. Planes, trains, and automobiles pretty much here in Bangkok. And yeah, the metro system has delivered. It's like being in a Chinese restaurant, lovely. All right. All right, guys, so as you can see, I'm back in the now familiar surroundings. Hey, brother. After what has been a fun day, whilst Chinatown didn't quite live up to the expectations that I had, we managed to try some really good street food. And indeed, we've done Bangkok's equivalent of planes, trains, and automobiles. So without further ado, it's time for my session with the big man. Let's see if he's in, and I'll see you all in the next video. There he is. <laughs> He's sleeping. <laughs> okay, guys. There's the man, the myth, the legend. I'll sign off from here and I'll see you all tomorrow for the sleeper train to Chiang Mai. Let's go. <laughs>